Christmas time again, hey? My gosh, didn't that year just flip past? Do you know, last year, I decided to do something that I'd done for the previous few years, which was to write down my goals and my dreams and my hopes for the next year onto a bit of paper, pop, pop it into an envelope and put it into the Christmas tree box. Do you know, I actually got my entire family to do this as well. So there were four little envelopes waiting for us in that Christmas tree box. Now I really think it would be great if you did the same thing. So in January, pop down all of the things that you're hoping for for the coming year. Make sure they're crazy good too, you know, big, dream big. Pop down things that you don't think you're going to be able to achieve as well as ones that you think you will. It's incredible what a few months can make to your life. And if you know where you're aiming, you're more likely to get it. So many people are terrified, absolutely terrified of writing down what they want, what they really want in their heart. Don't let that be you. Refuse to live in fear. Shoot for the stars and you might just get there. Do you know what? Traders do that all the time. Sure, we feel the fear, but we do it anyway. Do it for your life. Do it for all of the goals of your family. And you watch your children's faces if they're little ones. Open up their envelope next year. Read it and see what they were like a year ago. It's lovely to see. Some of the goals that they pop down onto those bits of paper, for me as a mum, absolutely priceless. So I'm looking forward to spending another year with you. I know that this year can be your year if you claim it to be. Do you know, Chris Tate and I are happy to be by your side every step of the way. So get writing and also get reading because I've got a great newsletter in store for you this month.